Good day guys, my name is Ashton here. Today tutorial is exporting a title object from Cinema 4D to the Cry Engine. So before I start, I want to show you what a couple guys them, um had a little problem with. They had a title object because they had it set in cubic inside Cinema 4D and they tile it and it looks more better when they use cubic. And the issue they was getting if I show you in Google SketchUp on the faces of the model or the 3D object or however you want to call it they got these stretch marks on the faces and I sure I should not look like that so I'm going to show you how to fix that stretchiness and how everything else type like this one at the bottom so I'm going to minimize and hop into cinema now this is our model and if you look at the text I had applied already it has a UV mapping projecting it, it, that's what it's really projecting now even though you know you tiled it 5 by 5 but in actuality when you when, when you export it it's going to really show the projecting which is the UV mapping because of the UV tie here so when we switch this to cubic um and I say okay I'm gonna go by seven by seven. If you look that actually changed if I wanted to go a little bit more ten by ten ten by ten. So that's what guys that I usually do. So to 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 fix the whole issue and especially if you if you uh have some part of the UV, this is the first method of what to do. You say example, you have this in UV mapping, which you should do, go to startup, party paint UV edit, and just go to the paint setup with it. And just click next and thing and you know just keep clicking next, 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 and then you'll be straight. But let me just show you that by the way. Click next, click next, and then uncheck automatic and then whatever is your actual right size texture so that's just one way of doing it and then I could exit out of this now and go back to my standard layout and another way of doing it which is just simple so I don't show all that work all we have to do is just delete the UV tag and just to let you all know, the reason why I delete the UV tag is here, like I have anything with the UV. Everything is just tileable. So each of these textures are on cubic. Each of these on cubic. Each of them. So since I have already did that, if you want to know how I got this uh my uh access right there, all I did is go and enable access so I could move it around, put it wherever I wanted, but I wanted to the floor. Go to position, coordinates, position, and set that to zero. Okay, good. So, let's now export it. So, let's go to file, export. Oh, I just want to enable this, sorry. And export the DAE 1.4. Put it to your desktop, or wherever you want to put it. Yes. Click OK. And we get exit or minimize out of cinema 4 so we don't really need it no more. Just click no. So let's go into Google SketchUp now. And let's get rid of this bad one. We don't need him. And let's go to the file. Click import. And put in a good one. A strong good looking one. Just give it a minute and shape process. So in my auto previous tutorial I know that I did the UV, I UV it in Cinema 4D and I exported it that way. So that's just letting you know this method does work for the non-commercial because I used the non-commercial SD kit. So now Let's, let's select it and right click on it 
add a component select it again and make component and we want to give it a name you go to tall pillar pillar and click create so our collision and everything straight everything's there so when we play Isaac in the game you wouldn't go to that thing okay so now let's go to plugins play out preferences cry engine tree so inside I got the steam I didn't set all this up basically and I'll show you a video on what to watch to set this up but right now I'm just gonna run through it usually on default it will start you up with uh, for master material options it will start you with all exposed no don't check that check this each exported mesh has its own material file and where you want this to go well I wanted to go to my tutorial pillar I already made that folder in here already into my level into my game models so oops gotta find out thing minimize it okay get back and click OK and make sure collision default is on and everything like that just click save and exit click OK, okay. and this is going to exit when you exit of Google so just letting you know so we go to plugins play up export all components and groups and do you want to overwrite um, pre-existing material files no you don't want to do that click OK and there you go so now we get exit of Google. No, nope. get exit of Google and hop into CryEngine. Now I'm gonna click pause and load up in the level. Okay, so I'm in the level now, and this is just a small little RTS game I'm working on for practice, really. So since my spawn point is here, I'm just gonna put the object here. And I'm going to go to my roll-up bar, geometry entity, levels, multiplayer, game models, and tutorial pillar. And if I bring this down, just to show you, you should see all our textures inside the object preview is there. So if we go to the pillar and bring it in, all our textures will load up without me actually have to apply them. I'm just going to scale it down a bit. Scale it down right there. Okay. And let's click. I'm on the keyboard. Go to levels. Sorry. Levels, multiplayer, level, oops, sorry, game model, Toro. And what you want to do, you see where is the stone. Let's make the stone have a concrete applied to it. And let's click on it. Click apply and just click save and it's ready there you go so now if I hop in game or not click control G I'm going to use my X pad one back, I mean my game pad and you notice it's breaking like concrete So guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful, and oh, just to show you that it has its own collision, so you can't go through it. So I hope this tutorial is really helpful, okay? Um, the next thing I want to show is, you know, if I save this, it will load back up. So I'm not gonna, I don't have to really show you that. Once you save it, it should load back up. So I'm going to exit CryEngine. I just want to show you a couple guys' uh, YouTube page. 
I recommend watching Free 3D. He has a cry engine um, training series. He's really good. He's a professional. I watch him a lot. He's really good at what he do. He, he, he knows his stuff. So give him a heads up and subscribe to him. Huh? Um, I give 18T20, um, 220, uh, he will show you how to do the Google SketchUp and PlayUp tools and how to get in and everything like that. So he'll show you everything. And that's pretty much it. And if you want the Google SketchUp that I have, you can just, uh, download from Media5 for my texture bacon AO, AO, uh, came into tutorial from Cinema and then exported to Cry Engine. And in this tutorial, I showed you it, a building with its UV. So if you want to know, okay, what if I UV it and everything like that, then watch this tutorial. So guys, really thanks for watching. I, I hope that this helped. And if you're wondering why I'm using Cinema 4D, it's because it's just faster to me. I, and I work fast with it and I got my, and I get my work done. So thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial. And if I get to get the animation from Cinema 4D and put it in the Cry Engine. I will make a tutorial on that too, okay? So, once again, thanks for watching.